Hi everyone, it's Meet Skelton with another vlog chat for you. Actually, this is my Sunday sermon vlog. I haven't done one in a while. This is talking about the challenges of life. Now, sometimes life will give you a mountain, and not all of us, let's face it, we're not all Sir Edmund Hillary there. You know, it's hard to get up that mountain and you have to climb and climb. It just feels like you're going up and up and up and there's no, no, um, no end in sight, right? Well, that's sort of a gift because every challenge um, that we have in life causes us to grow in the spirit. Uh, it can cause us to grow physically, mentally, emotionally. You know, all these things that we, uh, as, as human beings, we all learn to adapt. We have incredible adaptability. This is something, a gift that the Lord gave to us. And remember that uh, wherever you are now in your life, that's where exactly where you're supposed to be. Now, some people say, oh, I wish I were anywhere but here. Well, just looking back, now think of your life as a child. Remember you think, oh, as a child I was so carefree and I had no worries. Well, actually we did. As children, we had horrendous things happen to us. And we had things that were very scary, like our first day of kindergarten. I remember my first day of kindergarten and I almost wet my pants. <laughs> so it was a very scary experience, and but I got through it. Um, but um, the thing is, for me, as a five-year-old child, that was the end of the world. It was the biggest challenge ever at that moment. So we think as adults, as we become adults, and as you get older, and you have more responsibilities, you think, oh, this is a life or death thing. But that's how we thought as children, and every, every, um, every chapter of our lives, we always thought that this is it. This is the biggie. But really, you got through it. Remember how you got through kindergarten? And I remember I was tormented and bullied all through middle school, and I got through that. And I didn't shoot anybody or, you know, storm a classroom with a weapon. I, I was able to make it through without murder-suicide. And um, I went through high school the same way. No girlfriend, no dates, no friends, isolated from my peers. A mild nervous breakdown at 16, and I was homeschooled. But somehow, I got through it. And now... Um, as, a, as a fully grown adult, I find that there are other challenges that lie ahead. But if there were no challenges in life, we would have no motivation. We'd have no reason to get up in the afternoon. So it's really hard uh, to say. Um, I know everybody wants a carefree life, independently wealthy, but you can lose your money like that. You know, if you're independently wealthy, your money can go up in flames and you can lose all your assets, all your valuables. Just talk to any divorce court lawyer. Um, you know, it's very, very pertinent that we appreciate what we have. So challenges, challenges that we face are, are there to help us grow. Now, there are many stories of people committing suicide if they had just waited five, ten minutes, their life would have changed. Um, there was, I think, this guy that jumped off a bridge or something because he had all this financial debt. Well, <laughs> like, his check was in the mail. <laughs> So that's the thing about life. It's always changing, always cycling. We never know what lies ahead. That's why when life uh, gives you, uh, uh, you know, tribulation, you have to tie, tie a knot at the end of that rope and, and hold on. Don't put it around your neck. Um, that's why, you know, and I, I get very frustrated, you know, I'm very frustrated because here I am. Oh, the things didn't turn out the way I wanted to. So what? So what? Um, Life is, is, is never going to be exactly the way you want it. Now, for me, um, things could be a lot worse, but um, I have a lot of struggles, and I was able to overcome many things. And I think that as, as, as we look, you know, as adults, we always think, I wish I could be a child again. But just remember how frightening things were as children, how frightening things were as teenagers, as young adults. We had so many things to worry about, uh, you know, tests, exams. Um, uh, uh, you know, one time I got expelled. Well, no, I wasn't expelled. I was, I got suspension uh, from school. Uh, one day I had to go. Oh, I ate it. Oh, the worst thing about it, I had to go to end school when I was in the eighth grade. End school. Um, uh, this black lady was the dean. She said, I'm going to give you two days in school <laughs> because apparently, I don't remember what it was. It was something so silly. 
Um, I was standing in line and I thought I was fighting someone. I was just pushing someone away because they were giving me a hard time. I was pushing them away. And um, I just remember that. And I hated in school. I cried. I thought, oh, my life is over. Oh, oh, low. What's going to happen to me? And I got through it just like the last year at the monument. Same thing. Same thing. I thought I was going to jail. Thought Bubba was waiting for me right there. And no, I didn't have to go to jail. But I learned my lessons. Well, actually, I would do that. I would have done that again. But I'm saying that every 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 time we think this is it this is the biggie well it really isn't now there's there is a false teaching going around in the christian community that people i've heard people say they say oh god never gives you more than you can handle that is a load of horse pucky of course god gives you more than you can handle every day and uh so that's why we need to rely on his strength to get us through because uh, otherwise we are just uh, paddling without a without a, an oar in the water and uh, I think uh, some people um, stepped off one curb too many but that's a mama's family reference there but I just feel like you know um, every day is a challenge every day is a gift so don't worry about tomorrow, don't worry about yesterday, don't worry about your past. Think about where you are today, today, and focus on that because it will give you a new perspective on life. Uh, that's that's one of the things about life. And as I said before, we're always, it's, life is, is, is a never-ending stream of, of change. And uh, some change is good, some change is bad. Now, I was thinking about the other day, those people in that condominium in Florida. They, uh, I, I don't, well, unless they knew about, um, you know, unless they knew about structural damage or expert on that, I don't think they were expecting to perish uh, in that condominium. But I think the condominium was really a allegory or very symbolic because it reflects what's going on today in society. Our society is just like that condominium. We think it's very nice on the surface, but just below it's sinking fast into the ground and it's going to cave in. Well, actually it has caved in. Just look at it now. Um, drag queen story time. <laughs> The current administration, door-to-door -door, uh, vaccina uh, vaccination uh, um, uh, enforcement. Uh, these things are not pleasant, but we will get through it. Um, I'm just looking back, and I remember there wasn't ever a time in my life when I didn't have some challenge or another. Even when I was two, I had to learn how to go potty. Uh, when, I was, when I was four, I had to learn not to be afraid of the dark. Uh, when I was 11, my mother died, and uh, when I was, you know, going through high school, and oh, all these challenges that I got through, and um, yes, yeah, so remember when life says, I'm going to give you two days in school, <laughs> remember when life says that, uh, just say, well, I can handle it, I can handle it, because I am a child of God, and I'm relying on Him. I'm relying on the Lord for strength. I hope this gives you some inspiration, because every day, you know, life teaches us something. And none of us are good people. I'm not a good person. You're not a good person. Joe Biden is not a good person. Um, even Donald Trump is not uh, the best person. Um, the only good person to ever walk the face of the earth was Lord Jesus Christ. So remember, when people say, oh, I'm a good person, why is this happening to me? You're not good. <laughs> You're not good. Um, little old sweet, little old lady, the little old guy down the street, they're not good. No, we are all sinners. We have sinner, you know, sin in us passed down from generation to generation. All kinds of lascivious behavior that... Uh, translates into one big ugly black mess and that's why we have to uh, learn to um, overcome bitterness jealousy anger uh, all the things all the you know so-called deadly sins every sin is deadly every sin will lead you down that dark ugly path to you know what to H E W -L, L and that's why we have to be very careful now folks I am not a perfect person now I realize that I have you know some things that aren't right with me 
Um, but I'm working, I'm working on my character building, um, trying to make myself so that I can um, be better, you know, be better. And self-improvement is okay, but just don't get caught up into that self-help stuff, you know, that self-help new age stuff. Um, because you will never be perfect. And so that's the thing. And life's challenges um, are part of the fall. Well, but if, if we never had anything, you know, to challenge in, challenge us in life, it would be pretty boring, wouldn't it? You know, let's face it, it'd be pretty boring. So you can have your Swiss bank accounts and all those things in the world, and you can lose them tomorrow. <laughs> so so be thankful for being poor. At least you don't have anything to lose. Um, and, and I have a challenge ahead. I have to figure out how to support myself. For the first time in, in 40 years or so, I have to figure out how to live on my own. And it is scary. It is scary because I've never done that before. The, the longest I've been away from home was five days in Nashville. <laughs> uh, five days in an extended uh, stay hotel. Um, don't really consider that li making it, cutting it on your own especially when you have your father's credit card <laughs> to get Harris Teeter, uh, get um, takeout food and stuff. But anyway, folks, I am doing much better. I think I'm in a much better place than I was a year ago. And I had to go through, we had to go through the Bolsheviks. We had to go through the commies taking over. Look, the commies just took down more statues in Charlottesville. We knew that was coming. Let's admit it. We knew it would happen one day. And that's why we're in for a rough ride. But let's Think of all the mar martyrs in the past. They had to go through it. I'm not saying you have to be a martyr, but they had to go through communism, the you know Third Reich, and all those things. We can get through it. We are human beings, but we are made in God's image, and God will, God will give us the light ahead. Remember, uh, the best the best thing to remember is Psalm 23: "The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want." Um, memorize that and say it uh, every day. Cast out the demons. Cast them out. Cast them out daily. Uh, out daily. I was uh, at the store the other day, and I knew someone was had demons in them, and I was casting them out. <laughs> you know, trying to cast them out of the store. Didn't want those around me. Um, anyway, uh, this very angry feminist. Uh, you could just tell. You know, from a mile away, short hair, <laughs> dyed hair, funny colors. Um, I even had a dream about there's a demon behind all this folks there are demons behind these extreme things and you know the the purging of our monuments the the tearing the, the, the des desecration of our history there there are demons at work in Charlottesville in Richmond in the world and we just have to deal with them uh, but we well, well we have to deal with them and 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 fight them so thank you all for watching. I hope this video was edifying for you in some way. I know I'm not the best preacher, but I try to get the message across uh, in a way that people can understand, that I can understand. And go to my website at meetskeletonsplace.com. And remember, folks, say a prayer for someone special today. Bye.